Hi, my name is Bill Reeve, and I've just created a new pool game called Gotta Bank It. The name says it all, because every shot has to be either a bank shot or a kick shot. The object of the game is to be the first player or team to score 10, 15, or 20 points as determined before play begins. Unlike that complicated banking game, Gotta Bank It is played with just three balls, the cue ball and two object balls, one for each player or team if playing doubles. Placement of the balls and initial positions. One object ball is placed in the middle of the foot string where one racks, and the other object ball is put in the middle of the head string where one breaks. The cue ball is placed midway between the object balls in the center of the table. This arrangement is known as the initial position, and it's where the object balls will be respotted after being pocketed, and where the cue ball is placed in some foul situations. Object balls must retain their initial positions during a game, but may be changed from game to game. I've chosen the two and three as the object balls for a red, white, and blue theme. Any of the solid balls, including the eight, can be used as object balls if desired. A coin flip or other method decides who has which ball and shoots first. Alternating play then begins. The intended pocket must be called. If the player does not make their shot, the next player shoots from where the cue ball stopped. If the object ball is pocketed in the intended pocket, it is immediately respotted at its initial position, and that player shoots again from where the cue ball stopped. I've come up with two levels of rules to deal with fouls. At the basic level, pocketing the cue ball, missing the object ball completely, putting the object ball in the wrong pocket, hitting the opponent's ball first, and pocketing the opponent's ball all result in ball in hand to the incoming player anywhere on the table. At the advanced level, missing the object ball completely, putting the object ball in the wrong pocket, hitting the opponent's ball first, and pocketing the opponent's ball all result in the incoming player having the choice of shooting the cue ball from where it stopped or moving it to its initial position in the center of the table. Once it has been picked up, the cue ball must be moved to its initial position. Finally, at the advanced level, if the object ball and the cue ball are pocketed at the same time, the incoming player has ball in hand anywhere on the table. At both levels, it is not a foul if neither ball hits a rail after the cue ball strikes the object ball on a kick shot. In terms of scoring, there are also two levels. The basic level allows one point for those near misses that rattle the pocket but don't go in, and for a kick shot that pockets the object ball within the first diamonds of a corner pocket. Two points for a standard bank shot, and three points for a standard kick shot. The advanced level awards no points for a rattler, or for a single rail kick shot within the diamonds. One point for a standard bank shot, or for a two rail kick shot within the diamonds. And two points for a standard kick shot. So, if you're ready to take your game to a whole new level and get lots of practice banking, give Gotta Bank It a try.